How to create a product on Printify. Are you struggling to kickstart your online store? In this practical Printify tutorial, we'll unveil a step-by-step -step guide on how to get your creations live and ready to sell. Plus, we'll delve into a mini Shopify tutorial to link your brand and new products to your store. You're gonna go ahead and create a free account. Printify, it's free. You don't have to worry about any of that. And once you've created an account, this is how it will look like. This is going to be your dashboard. In order to create a new product, you will have to come over here onto the left-hand side. You will have a bunch of different options. What you will do is click on my products. You will see you have no products. And over here, you can create your product by clicking on browse products. If you want to create a order, you can do that by here. We'll click on browse products. Here are the products that we can choose from. We have a bunch of different options. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, candles, wall decoration, baby clothing. We've got bags, mugs, frames, canvases, pillows, or many, many more. Let's say we want to choose a sweatshirt. We'll click on sweatshirt so we can go with a unisex heavy blend, dyed sweatshirt, crew neck, whichever one you want. They have multiple different options so you can choose them. Women specific, men specific, unisex, it's all relevant. We'll just select this one right here, what type of shirt this is. Then we'll just simply click on start designing. This is the designer right here right hand side you have your different options you have fiverr you can hire a professional designer for your shirt you have google drive dropbox shutterstock over here you can import your designs from these websites also have a ai image generator over here which is in beta you can go ahead and use that to create your own design then you have your my library over here you have your recent designs that you have added these designs recently then you have your templates over here you can create a template as well which i will show you later and you have your graphics that you can just simply import these graphics onto your shirt so i always already have these designs i'll just simply i want to upload this one then you can go ahead and increase the size of your design that's how it looks you can move it around make it bigger smaller it depends on don't worry about the uh resolution it'll look good on this shirt see it's a little low resolution it's a little low resolution but doesn't matter your design will look good but if it is bothering you you can go ahead and upload a higher resolution image as well this one is a higher resolution image medium resolution but yes you can go ahead and make it bigger smaller let's say we want to put it small and then you can just simply go ahead and it'll give you some previews in the mockups right here so this is how it would look like looks pretty cute looks pretty cool you can see a person wearing this shirt this is how it would look like if someone was wearing it again you can go ahead and change the design as well we'll just delete that for now and we'll add make it a little bit bigger so that it's a little bit easier to read and make it better right here Let's go ahead and preview this one so as you can see it looks much better even if the image is a little bit lower resolution it'll still look good on the actual product like so then you can just simply go ahead and move it around if you want to edit the backs you can add more stuff to it zoom in zoom out we just simply save the product even choose the colors as well you can select black white background I, I couldn't remove the background it choose other designs as well this design right here it has a transparent background it will work on both black and white move that black one the dragon won't show so default one then you can choose blue one you can even have a sand one gray graphite red with this design we can make it bigger or smaller it will make it we'll just simply click on save product and now we have our product we have mockups right here looks pretty cool now we just simply have to fill out the details we add in the product description title we add in different variants if you want to you can have small medium large extra large you can choose these variants we have the pricing of them and you can edit the price or you can select specific ones and edit their prices as well you can even see the profit margin, the product, uh, the production cost, the shipping cost, and what type of shipping as well. You can add standard shipping as well. Publishing settings as well. For that, you need to connect to a store, which we will get to later. Yes, once this is done, you just simply click on save as draft for now because we need to connect a store. So let's go do that. We are going to be using Shopify. To connect a store, click on my store and click on manage store. And as you can see, it is not connected yet. We click on connect and we have these options. We can connect to Etsy, Shopify, Walmart, eBay, Squarespace, Wix. We have those websites the shopify store we just simply click on connect and add in the url of our shopify store so this is my store i will copy this and paste the link and click on connect and there we go we now install the application we are now connected to our store we now go back connected as you can see it's authentic so we have this product we now just simply go ahead and publish the product after finalizing all the settings we have the product visibility issue all the variants as available for, for purchase you can mock ups shopify collection if you have one you can add it there click on publish you are good to go it is now publishing 
and it should be published and it should appear on your Shopify within your product section right here. You can import as well if and now it's uploading the images. So it's now published. It'll upload the images, variants and all of that, but you are good to go. That is it. Thank you for journeying with us through the process. Hit that like button, share your thoughts or questions in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more empowering tutorials. Next videos to continue mastering the art of online selling.